What's going on everybody? Got another exciting one for you today. So on this video was done May 18th and what you'll see in this video is me requesting Officer Tabitha Brown and her partner Lauren O'Leak's personnel files, body camera footage, dash cam footage, arrest affidavits, police reports. I also want to get a copy of their criminal history because if you guys remember correctly, in the Aaron Dean trial, he had pled guilty to sexual assault and was still hired to be a police officer. We have a DA's office that claims they want to be tough on sexual assault, but whenever Aaron Dean sexually assaults a woman and Officer Cox sexually assaults a woman, that's not a problem. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. What I'm here to talk about is I've set this citation for trial. Now, I understand a lot of people have been saying, well, you need to get a lawyer to represent you. Uh, my response to that is, if you want to bring a lawyer to represent you on a Class C, which, by the way, guys, even if I lose this case, and I'm not sitting here saying anything's guaranteed. I understand these juries are completely rigged, but the fact is, if you want to bring a lawyer to represent you, it's going to be $3,000 or more. The ticket, if I lose, is $192. I'm not asking for any donations. I'm not trying to get a lawyer. I'll represent this myself. That's fine. The bottom line is, is on this body camera footage, what y'all will see and what happened was I was placed in the back of a cop car with the windows rolled up after we had arrived at the station. And a partner, Lauren O'Leak, let's put her picture up, decides to crank the heat up in the car and by the way, it's in the 90s outside, guys. It's pretty hot here in Texas. For several minutes, it honestly felt like I was about to pass out. Could have been even worse. But I think the evidence is going to show when you know, I go to trial, even if the jury's rigged, that these officers are just cruel people. They don't go by their department policy. The lady didn't identify herself. I was literally told to stand in the roadway. And then once the officer told me to stand in the roadway, now I'm obstructing the roadway by following her unlawful orders. The bottom line is I followed every order this lady gave. She still arrests me. Um, and then the cruelty that goes beyond that when I get to the department, that amongst a lot of other things I'm going to speak on today. But uh, it's set for trial. And I'm going to keep you all posted what the outcome of that is. If you all haven't already. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. Later. Is this internal affairs? Hi, can I have a, uh, an arrest affidavit? An arrest? The arrest affidavit. Can I have an arrest affidavit, please? I don't, I don't know what an arrest affidavit is. What? Mm -hmm. It's a paperwork they fill out when you get arrested. And if you want to request that, you have to do it through an open record request. It's not anything I would pronounce. Okay, well, they do it in Fort Worth, so I guess you guys are behind the times here. So I'll take the request. Okay. But you still don't know what it is? Uh, we don't deal with it over the counter, so. So, so what's it called? Am I going to ask for something and you won't know what it is? If we don't work that request. Our records department does. So if Where, you want that where's the records record department? Today, you can still request it. Where's the records department? Open records department. Okay. How can I give it to you in Fort Worth when you go in and ask for it? Every district and every county has their own. So you can't just pull it up on the computer and print it for me? No, ma'am. Why? Our legal well, you team could. said we can't. What? Our legal team. Your legal team said that? Yes. Your legal team told you that for real? What else did you... You, you know, know what your government code you know, is? Yeah. Did you know that... You know I just do what they tell me if you want to take it up with me. You just do what they tell you. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. I agree with you on that. That you just do what they tell you. Yeah. But you know, the Freedom of Information Act says that, you know, if they have it at their fingertips, they're supposed to give it to you. Yeah. Rip, that's the law. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do an open records request, ma'am. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. How long will it take for you to get it? It usually takes about 10 business days for them to respond to you. To respond? No, I'm supposed to have it within 10 days, right? Can it be sooner than that, or does it have to be 10 days? Uh, that I am not sure. It usually just is how long it takes them. So if they finish it before 10 days, then, they don't. then you would get it. But can you expedite it for us? I can ask them, but that is not something that I can... Guaranteed. I don't work in that department. Okay. What's your name? 
My name is Veronica. So you okay, know what this affidavit is? Am I, am I asking for the wrong thing? And they're, I'm going to send this in there, and they're going to say, we don't know what it's that is. It's not paperwork that I do. May I have a request too, ma'am? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do two requests. She's going to do one. I'm going to do one. Here's your pen. Can I, uh, do you guys have your policy handy for how police officers conduct themselves? I All the police happen. policy. Do you, know what, you know what the date was on Friday? Uh, the 12th or the... Was it after yeah. midnight? Is it after midnight? Yeah, okay. The 12th? Thank you. Was it after midnight? Uh, yeah. So it's the 13th. Morning the 13th. Let me see one again. What is today? What is today? The 18th. I got out of jail yesterday. But the... Do you want me to look it up? Hold yeah. On. How old are you? 30. Hmm. I know I'm old. How old are you, ma'am? Older than 30. You're older than 30? You don't look it. What's the name of the well, arresting officer? Is, I guess. What's the name of the arresting officer? T. Brown. T. Brown. You guys know a T. Brown that works here? I don't. I can look on the list if you want their name. Yeah, I want to I request her jacket. Because she, she needs to be re-educated, I think. Mm. Probably doesn't need to be working as a police officer, honestly, ever again. Too stupid. Is there an educational requirement to be a police officer uh, or to work in your position? In my position, not that I'm aware of. For an officer with Arlington, it's usually a bachelor's degree. Uh, T. Brown, I'm guessing, is Tabitha Brown. So Tabitha Brown, Brown. I'll write that down. Mm -hmm. And badge number 2572. Tabitha Brown. Mm -hmm. And the badge number? 2572. Thank you for that. No you, are, are you guys having issues giving out body camera footage here? Because we've been having some issues with that in some other places. Not that I'm aware of. I'm not sure what you mean by issues. Like requesting body cam footage of yeah, a, an arrest. How much is it? Uh, I think it's a dollar per minute, five dollars per CD. What if we bring our own? Uh, a dollar a minute for body cam footage? I believe so. What Dang. Again, it, would be, it would be that department that could give you a What if we put it on flash drive? If you brought your own flash drive, would it be cheaper? What's the zip code here, miss? 76011. I think uh, depending on how big it is, they might be able to email it, you, email it to you if you didn't want like a physical copy. What is your oh, here it is right here. last name? Something with up your depending which name is. Do you have the case number? I will in a second, yes. All right. Whenever you get it, can you give it to me, please? Absolutely. Thank you. Let me grab your book in, book out. Give me one second. I bet you many dollars. She just got put up and get you arrested. Just like they do in Fort Worth. So she's got that all right there, right at her fingertips. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they do, man. Shoot. This is ridiculous, dude. I was going to the desk to read it to us because it's on his computer, too. Where's the act right here, too, on Staples? Body cam footage. But you're going to get all that for free. It's in, my, my in Discovery, yeah. yeah. I can get the police reports for free, too. The booking time was on the 13th at 1 o'clock. So. Oh, so close. So the arrest was at 1 o'clock? Well, last time they booked you in, so I don't know how long they were with you out on the street. I, but I'm guessing if, if you're requesting the body cam, it probably would be from the 13th. I think it was real late. Officer Tabitha Brown. Tabitha Brown. That's the, that's the only T. Brown I have. It was a woman, or a, it could have been a transgender. I, I, it was hard to tell, honestly. Well, that doesn't tell me <laughs> what they are. It just has a name. I could assume a woman based on the name, but I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looked like a man, but... Hard to tell these days. Everything's going on. I guess if you're asking for a dash for too. Body and dash camera and officer. You have a Lauren O'Leak, like O E L K E. Is it a 
an officer named Lauren O'Leak, I think was her name, because that was the lady that was there too. Somebody had recognized her from video and uh, told me who it was. Yeah, Lauren O-E-L-K-E. And she's from Wisconsin? I don't know. You don't know where she's from? Because I think that's a Wisconsin name. Like you know, like your badge number is three one four five. If you want to know. But so there is a Lauren O'Leak that works here. Yes. Okay, L A U R E N O E L K E. And and how long has she been with the police department? Does it say on there? It does not. It's just a generic list of their um, badge number, name, the district. What's her rank? Their phone number uh, doesn't show her as anything, so I don't know. It doesn't show her as anything? Like it doesn't, the list doesn't say like sergeant, lieutenant. The list is just names. So I can't. I you can't tell the rank on there. Okay. Not on this paper. No. Oh, okay. What, do you have a paper that would? I don't. I can try and look up. I mean, they, they don't identify themselves and that, that's another problem is the officers. And that's why I'm requesting y'all's policy is because uh, you guys are supposed to, well, the police officers, you're not an officer, you're, you're what, a clerk? And uh, they're supposed to identify themselves, and they're not identifying themselves properly, especially when they're making false arrests. And uh, just says she's a patrol officer, so I don't think she's a sergeant or anything. She's a nobody. She's Piece of trash. Idiot. Body camera. So it's called the jacket when you're requesting all our tickets? I think so. Jacket, 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 everything. And that last name for Lauren is spelled O L E K E L. I think it was O E L K E. O E L K E. Okay. O E L. Hi. So I was I stopped by yesterday. So I'm done with my request now. You're done. Wait a minute. Is there? Oh, there's. Is there more to fill out? Uh, there's four or five pages on here. I want to pick mine up in person. Okay. I'll let them know. I put on here, I want to request the body cam footage, uh, police reports, arrest affidavit, Officer Brown, for, I meant to put four. For Officer Tabitha Brown, badge number 2572, body and dash cam from Lauren, it's O-E-L-K-E, -E. okay, however you pronounce that, uh, damn Wisconsin people, man, can't even pronounce their names, <laughs> body camera reports, uh, police reports, full jacket for Officer Tabitha Brown and Lauren O-E-L-K-E -E, as it pertains to case number, case numbers, Two zero two three zero one three three zero zero two nine obstructing street and two zero two three zero dash zero one three three zero two nine interference with public duties. I got my name and everything. Uh, I got my email on there. I'm not providing an address or a phone number. I've provided my email. My email is newsnowcody at gmail dot com. And I want to uh, pick my request up in person, or you can notify me through that email. Um, yeah, I have been... Is your go ahead? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I haven't filled that out. Yeah. Um, so let me ask you this: If I want to get as many as much as possible on this report, your case is a copy of everything you're giving me. To them. All right, so this awesome. Is, this is the information for the department that actually works the it one. May be they work six a.m. to three p.m. So okay. if you wanted to call them tomorrow for those clarifications on the, the time frame and the okay. cost. No, I agree. Okay. So, and I got a present for you. Okay. Thank you. Here's your flower. I agree to all those questions, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a good day, lady. You do. Oh, you gave me hers too. Here you go, Carolina. There's your copy. 
Thank you. All right, I guess we're going to internal affairs now.